For nearly half a century, the cost of higher education has risen faster than the pace of inflation and even faster than the cost of new home construction and healthcare. Some people have called higher education a bubble. The steep increase in the cost of tuition has caused a lot of problems. Many students leave school with large amounts of debt and jobs that aren't good enough to help them pay it off. Some students default on their debt or make payments so small that the loan will never be repaid. This debt has consequences for individual borrowers and the national economy. Many borrowers report that they have postponed major life events, including marriage, children, and home ownership, because of their high levels of student debt. These problems were anticipated as far back as the 1980s. In 1987, then Secretary of Education William J. Bennett wrote an op-ed in New York Times entitled Our Greedy Colleges. In the article, he explained, if anything, increases in financial aid in recent years have enabled colleges and universities blithely to raise their tuitions, confident that federal loan subsidies would help cushion the increase. In other words, federal student aid encourages tuition inflation. Universities, just like anyone with a product to sell, adjust their prices according to what students, their customers, will pay. If Uncle Sam provides students with generous grants and loans, they can afford to pay more. Demand increases and universities adjust their prices accordingly. The idea has been named the Bennett Hypothesis. To learn more, click the link.